Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here, and today we are playing Mortal Kombat Gold for the Sega Dreamcast. Now before I continue talking more about this game, I just want to quickly show you guys something that you can do right here, right now, on this screen. Okay, quickly press up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right. And you'll hear the guy say outstanding, indicating you've done it correctly. Press start. Alright, that will take you here to the main menu screen. Now press run and block at the same time. Bang, you've got access to a cheat menu, okay? Which is pretty cool. Um, you know, here you've got easy endings. If you set that on, basically once you defeat the first character, you'll see your character's ending. Alright, fatality 1, 2, pit fatality, they're just one button fatalities, self-explanatory. Danger off. If you set that on, your characters will start with basically one hit left each, okay? So whoever gets the first hit in will win the fight. Set that shit to off. Combat codes. There's so many of these fuckers, okay? It's impossible to remember what they all are. Um, but a lot of it's just useless shit, you know, like disable blocking and, you know, just sh just garbage that I have zero interest in. Um, if you want to check it out, you know, Google that shit, but I'm not interested in any of that. I think there was a funny one that you could do, which was... Um, inflate the heads of the characters so you know small bodies with these big balloon heads which was pretty funny but you know like I said a lot of it's just fucking garbage like disable blocking and, and all that type of stuff okay but yeah Mortal Kombat Gold okay for the Sega Dreamcast now if you've played Mortal Kombat 4 you've played Mortal Kombat Gold okay it's the same shit the only difference is Mortal Kombat Gold here has five new characters that were not available in Mortal Kombat 4. Alright, they are Cyrax, Katana, Melina, Kung Lao, and Baraka. Okay, um, let me just go here, otherwise we'll get a fucking annoying cutscene. Yeah, so you know, you've got those new characters. Also, there's some, you know, new stages like the Soul Chamber, uh, Church, which are really cool. I, I enjoy those stages. Um, you know, that's basically it. It's Other than that, it's the same game as Mortal Kombat 4, okay? This only came out on the Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast back in the day, and that used to fucking piss me off big time, okay, back then, because, you know, I, I did have Mortal Kombat 4 for the PlayStation. I loved that shit, played it to death, but then I heard that Mortal Kombat Gold was coming out, and I was really excited because, you know, I did hear that Kung Lao was going to make an appearance in this game and he's you know since Mortal Kombat 2 I've really enjoyed playing as Kung Lao he's one of my top favorite characters in Mortal Kombat games so you know when I heard he was going to be available in this game I thought that's fucking cool I can't wait to get it then I heard that it was only available on the Dreamcast and that pissed me off because you know not many people had the Sega Dreamcast back then it was sort of a obscure console you know not many games came out for it. I did know a few people at that time that did have it, but, you know, most people just either had, you know, PlayStation or the Nintendo 64. So that fucking sucked ass that it was exclusive to the Dreamcast, okay? But, you know, now that I've played it, there, there really is not much difference. There's, you know, two Mortal Kombat 4, so like I said, you know, if you have played Mortal Kombat 4, you've played this game, you really aren't missing out on that much at all. I'm um, just going to change the continues here to 6 just in case of bullshit, you know, it's relatively easy to beat this game, uh, even on medium, which I'll just leave it at now. Uh, one more thing I will say, this game, you know, has secret characters similar to Mortal Kombat 4, you know, you could unlock Noob, Sabot and Goro, uh, but Mortal Kombat Gold here also has Sector as a secret unlockable character and he is the fucking best character in this game in my opinion, okay? He's, a, he's an absolute beast. His combos can just go on forever, you know, he's got that teleport punch forward forward low kick. You can spam that shit till the cows come home and, you know, the, the AI cannot do anything. It's just fucking ridiculous, he's overpowered and I will play as him but first... Because this is Mortal Kombat Gold, I want to play as Kung Lao, okay, my main man. 
So let's go ahead and do this Mortal Kombat Gold for the Sega Dreamcast. Alright, so as you can see, the new characters populate the top row of the character select screen, okay? Um, I'll be playing as Kung Lao, so let's pick him. I'll show you how to go ahead and pick Sector uh, once I die with Kung Lao. Hopefully I won't, but if I do, I will pick Sector. Alright, as you can see on the bottom there, it said hidden. That's, that's how you go about selecting him. If you're not happy with the characters you're fighting, you can press start and rotate this shit, okay? A lot of the time I fucking hate fighting Tanya. So who have we got there? Scorpion there? That looks alright, we'll go there. Scorpion, Raiden, yep, Melina, Baraka, okay, cool. Straight off in the church stage, love that shit, love the music here. Hat throw. Okay, he's got... Mm. I just want to quickly show you guys something. This move here, okay, his spin. Okay, it's cool because you can actually move around now. Um, I mean, you could do that shit in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And Mortal Kombat 3, you know, forward, down, forward, run. That's how you did it back then. But here it's the classic up, up, low kick, which is how it was in Mortal Kombat 2, okay? But in MK2, you couldn't move, okay? He'd just do this, stand there... You know, like that, okay? I mean, fucking Scorpion's being a dickhead. He's jumping straight into me. Um, but here you can actually, you know, move, hold left or right to move in that direction. And it's fucking great because you can follow up with, like, a roundhouse kick there. Alright. Classic teleport move. Alright, let's do his fatality. Just the uh, classic hat slice fatality, nothing special there. Fatality. His other one's better, I'll do that next. So yeah, from MK2, Kung Lao, you know, that spin move, up, up, low kick. That was ass in that game. I, I rarely ever found myself using it. At the time, though, I did think it was fucking cool looking and all that. But here it actually has use, you know, you can move around. And it's just fucking good stuff. Ah, weapon. Forgot about that shit. I might bring out mine. If you give me a fucking chance. Jesus Christ. Mm! Damn it! There we go. Fuck! Bring that shit out and I die. suffer for that shit. <laughs> Teleport that shit. Alright, he's also got that other move from MK2 where you, and you know, previous games like MK3, Ultimate Combat 3. Down high kick in the air, which does that fucking... that move, okay? But it looks like ass in this game. It's so slow and it just doesn't feel good like it did in MK2 and the previous ones. Look, look how slow that is. I mean, it's still cool, but, you know, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to me. Alright, I better kill uh, Melina here. Alright. Second fatality. So it decapitates the head, then the body. Pretty disappointing fatalities, actually, with Kung Lao in this game. Just, I don't know, no originality. Just boring, okay? Just a head decapitation and just a variation of the same thing, basically. So nothing really, nothing much going on. <laughs> it's always annoying when that, okay, like what just happened then when they block that spin move, okay? Leaves you open for a counter-attack because, you know, if they block that shit, Kung Lao will stagger for a brief period of time. <laughs> Love that move by Raiden. That fucking knee throw move. Let's go. Just 
do it one more time. Just simple head decapitation. You know, his his best fatality was in Mortal Kombat 2, where he sliced the you know his opponent in half. That would have been great to see that shit here, but whatever. Okay. All right, I might just do one more fight with Kung Lao, and then I'm gonna pick Sector after this. Purposely die and play as Sector, or I might even fucking die in Reptile here. I don't know. If he's being a fucking ass, which it looks like he is. God damn! What the hell am I doing? Fuck! Block that shit, and you get stunned. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't you fucking try and throw that shit at me, ass. It's a bit weird doing this fucking spin move as well because, I don't know, it feels really weird in instances. You can only sort of do it like there's a cooldown period so to speak, I don't know it's just strange to explain, okay like you'll go to do it but he won't do it you know and you're wondering why the fuck aren't you doing that move, you know, but it, it's just the cooldown period, it's not you inputting the the command incorrectly or anything, okay FUCK That's what I wanted to do. Alright, you can do the stage fatality on Goro's lair here. Alright, so now I'm going to purposely lose with Kung Lao because I want to show you guys Sector. He's just fucking beast, okay? You can easily get that max damage combo shit all the time with him. Yep, come on, just fuck me up, Bracker. Yep, run into that shit. Flawless victory. Flawless Round victory. Two. Good stuff. Fight. What was I talking about before in regards to <laughs> maximum damage? Love that shit. You're going to be seeing a lot of that when I play a sector next, okay? It's just fucking crazy. Um. Kung Lao's moves. I was going to fucking say something, but I forgot. Anyway. Alright, so to choose Sector on the character select screen, okay, go to hidden here and hold block and run. Alright, then press up four times and left three times. So technically your cursor or whatever will be over Cyrax, alright, but you can't see it, but as you can see, I'm sector now, and I'm just gonna fucking tear the shit. I just want to show you this. Okay, you can just fucking spam that shit the whole game, and and you don't have to do anything else. Okay, sector is an absolute monster in this game. He is the best character. Okay, forget noob Sabot. Noob, noob Sabot is fucking ass. Okay, I hate him. He's got lame moves, and he doesn't even have any unique fatalities, which sucks as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Baraka. Alright, so... Do his fatality. Oh, Jesus Christ, that sounds a bit weird. What the hell? Can't see anything. <sighs> Fucking... That fucking sucks. Should have done his compact fatality, that would have been better. Alright, so Goro. <laughs> you know, Goro is a cakewalk with Sector. I'll, I'll stop being cheap for a second, I'll try and do normal moves and shit here. Got his homing missile, his normal missile, double missile. 
<laughs> Alright, that's it. Too much bullshit going on. Round two. Fight. Fuck off. Oh my god. Goro can really fuck you up if you don't resort to cheapness on him, okay? Alright, I'm not happy with this. I'm fucking over it. Max damage. Oh, that's... What the fuck? Oh, that's it. You're... You're done. That's it. No mercy now. This is all I'm doing. Even after I get another max damage. Yep. There we go. Sector is a fucking beast in this game. Shinnok, the final character. <laughs> Love that shit. That's also Quan Chi's throw at close range when you press low kick a K. The fucking back stretch or whatever it is. That's fucking awesome. I haven't even brought out Sector's weapon here. I better do that. It's just like a laser gun. You just shoot it, okay? That's all it does. Good stuff. There we go. Absolute fucking cakewalk with Sector, okay? And that's it, you know? Nothing really different from this compared to Mortal Kombat 4. I sort of just wanted to play this because... My playthrough of Mortal Kombat 4 on my channel was quite short, it felt, you know, I really wanted to play a bit more, so playing this was a bit of an excuse to get back into it, but here's Sector's ending. Alright Cyrex, all systems are go. Are you sure you want to go through with this? If this fails, we won't be able to recover your main processor. We'll lose you for good. After experiencing the flashbacks in my fight against Shinnok, I realize that my existence is unnecessary unless I can fully recover my human psyche. We must continue with the process. All right then, I'll begin the scanning process. Sonia, you hit the regeneration switch on my queue. All set, Jax. Ready on your go. Alright, so there you go, Sector's ending, he just blew the place to shit with his missiles. But that is the playthrough of Mortal Kombat Gold, okay? Basically just Mortal Kombat 4 with a few changes, you know, extra characters like I said, and stages. Um, it's a damn fun game to play. It's not, you know, Mortal Kombat 4 and Gold aren't what I would call technical fighters, so to speak, okay? You know, anyone can just grab a control pad and start mashing buttons or either just spamming one move. You know, like I was doing with Sector, you know, that fucking teleport uppercut. You can, you know, you can just spam that move the entire game and you will win. You know, even on Goro, it's just insane. Um, so, you know, there, there really isn't much way, uh, much uh, skill required, okay, for this game. You can just mash buttons and you'll probably be doing as good as um, 
anyone else, okay? Obviously it helps to know the character's special moves and you know the combos, but the combos are basically the same for any, any everyone, you know, you just run in high punch, high punch, high kick, back, high kick, high punch, high punch, high punch, high kick, down, high punch, you know, it's all the same. Just simple three, four hit combos, anyone can do that shit, alright? Like I said, it isn't a technical fighter, okay? Street Fighter 3, Third Strike is what I would consider a really technical fighter. You know, the old Mortal Kombat games like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 2, they're technical fighters, okay? We've really got to analyze what your opponent is doing and sort of respond to that, okay? Whereas in this, it's just pick up the control pad, mash buttons, spam moves, you know, just go fucking crazy, pick up shit on the ground, throw it at the opponent. But uh, yeah, you know, it's a fun game. Mortal Kombat 4 and Gold are damn fun games, but they are not what I would deem technical fighters. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the playthrough of Mortal Kombat Gold, exclusive to the Sega Dreamcast.